All right, here we go. I am here with Cindy, one of our incredible, amazing students, clients. Uh, Cindy's been with us for a little while now, um, and I'm really excited to be able to help or to just kind of shed some light on her story. Let her talk. Um, you guys hear just kind of about her experience and everything. Um, Cindy, your progress consistently, it, it consistently inspires a lot of people, but Kristen and I are just like, oh my goodness, every single time. It's just awesome. Like you're just, you're doing so good. Um, so I'm going to give the floor to you for a minute. Will you just kind of introduce yourself? Let us know who you are, um, whatever you want to tell us about yourself that you think people need to know um, to kind of get to know the best part, you know, just, just that the, the main big things about you. Sure. Uh, well, I mean, to start, I'm a mom. I work. I'm going to be 49 this year. I, I live in pencil. I live in Pennsylvania, and I mean the good things. I guess I always like being healthy. Uh, I always like you know fitness and exercise. I just don't think I was going about it the right way. But it's kind of in me to have it and instill it in my kids. So um, yeah. Any anything else you want to hear? Let's see. You have twins, right? I do. Yeah. And, and the twins turned five and it really wasn't like I, I had intent behind it, but once they were school age, man, I was just ready to get back into my exercise routine uh -huh. and just make, make something happen. Um, yeah. because they, they were not really that. Yeah. They weren't really in preschool up until they were, they were about four and a half when I put them in preschool. So uh -huh. I was, I was blessed to like be able to have a flexible work, uh, environment and be home with them part-time yeah absolutely but it was crazy that takes away that that that's a lot of time and commitment where you're not really focused on yourself and I never I, I can't you know finding that balance yeah yeah and so tell us a little bit about like where you were before you reached out you talked about that a little bit I know you worked uh like you said um had them at home all of those things so tell me a little about that like where were you at what were you kind of uh struggling with different things there oh my um scattered really scattered uh that full-on you know um stereotype uh, mom brain mm -hmm. i just could not pull it together so I'd, I'd focus on diet and then my fitness would be off and then i'd focus on fitness and i would be losing sleep because to juggle out with the job and the kids i was i was getting up at like 4 30. Um, but things I, I, I was doing, you know, I, I belong to a local gym. I would kind of rock the gym basically five to six days a week uh, mm -hmm. before kids. And even when they were first born and I was still working full time and had a, had a sitter. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, my job shifted. Um, and then I thought, okay, I'm going to work out from home. And I started doing, um, am I allowed to say names like Beachbody? <laughs> What everyone did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I was a beach body uh, person. So I was um, at first doing like buying DVDs and then went to the on on demand. Um, but no emphasis on nutrition, you know, that the program would touch on nutrition, but it was kind of like a starting point. Um, and I was extreme. I, I would I would like go full steam ahead and do like a six, seven day a, a week um uh, workout until mm -hmm. I burnt myself out and nutrition pretty much the same it was really black or white just okay. oh I gotta do this gotta do this and then I would crash and couldn't sustain it okay yeah I specifically remember us talking about that on your call and and I told you you know I I get it like I am somebody that that is where my brain goes to and it's tough um it's hard that balance is hard because we want to do things so well i feel like you know we want to just we put our all into everything and um and then i, I think i mean i know i hit a place to where it burnout happened um that's when for me we were i was diagnosed with hashimoto's all sorts of things like it just your body can't take all of it all the time if we're if we're stressed out so i do remember us talking about that and i know that that was something that we knew okay like let's figure this out for you. Let's see what we can do. Cause, cause it's so possible to be able to fit it in and, and do the things. But like you said, 
maybe overworking those six, seven days a week of working out that it catches up to you at some point. Com completely. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a checklist person. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, I thought like, you know, the bigger the checklist, the better it was, but not, not anymore. Yeah. I want more balance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same. I, I agree. My husband one time was just like, you look at what he saw me so stressed. And he said, well, look at your to-do list. You do that to yourself every day. You know, you're not going to get that stuff done. Like, why do you do it? Like, I don't really know actually, because I feel like I always need to strive for more, uh, which is good. But then it also, like you said, we gotta, we gotta find the balance. We really do. So, um, you came in, you had already lost weight, right? Yeah. Yeah. I had lost it, 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 this is the oddest thing. I had already lost uh, 20 pounds yeah. and started, started gaining it back. And um, COVID, cause COVID hit. Yes. And like a lot of people, you know, I was stressed. I did, I did get a temporary layoff initially that turned into a full layoff. But anyways, um, mm -hmm. the pounds started creeping back on. And I thought, what in the world, this is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And, um, and yeah, so I just knew that I couldn't sustain what I had already accomplished which is um when i found you right right you found me on an instagram right i did i did i still don't you probably have some savvy savvy marketing tactics but you appeared on my feed and i don't know that we had a, a common link but your mm -hmm. me message really resonated with me absolutely good was it talking about the extremes the sustainability what was the thing that you felt like kind of did say, okay, hang on. Who is this girl? Let me at least just hear what she's saying. Yeah. You really spoke to my level of exhaustion. I mean, I was, I was just wiped out at chasing my tail over okay. and over again and not, and then being back at, you know, square one kind of, kind of thing. And, um, and my kids were get, starting to get older and, you know, like I had a four-year-old that I was like huffing and puffing to run up a hill with her. Cause she's, she's going to be a track star probably. But yeah, that, I mean, there was a lot of wake up calls where it was just, I got to do something. Um, mm -hmm. and you spoke to the mom and me, um, the self care of that mom guilt of like, you got to take care of your babies first. And you know, it's like that, that, that thing, the airline stewardess tells everybody you put your oxygen mask on before you put your child's on. Mm -hmm. And like, if I, if I wasn't filling myself up first and taking care of myself, then I, I wouldn't be able to take care of them. Mm -hmm. It's true. We always hear that, you know, that's something we, we hear a lot, but we always feel like, oh yeah, I know. But like, I can, that's all right. I, I have a little more, a little more gas in the tank. I can still do it. But at some point it just, you kind of have to say too, like, man, but is this like really what I want? Is this me being able to like really enjoy, really live my best life kind of a thing? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So then, so you reached out. Were you nervous to reach out? Were you a little bit anxious? Like I, I find that that kind of is hard for some people sometimes. And I don't totally get it. Like, it's kind of like once you dip your toe in, you're like, okay, now somebody knows that I am struggling. What if they, you know, like, Am I going to actually do this? You know, where to go from there? Well, as you can tell, once I commit, I, I commit. I'm very yeah. loyal. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I knew that once once I made that first step that I was I was going to do it. So in retrospect, I still remember you asking me what my goal was. And I didn't have a goal. Yeah. And I, I think that was full on fear of failure because I, I have that perfectionist yeah. mindset, which just holds me back. And, um, and yeah, so I came to you with that goal of just wanting to lose fat, build muscle, be stronger. And you said, well, how about weight? And I, I had no concept of what was even possible. And I yeah. think I was, I was scared of setting a goal because I didn't, you know, I didn't want to set my bar too high. I, I have no idea, but failure. Yeah, for sure. I think that was what I was scared of. Okay. And that makes sense. Now looking back, you're like, oh. Oh, look at that. I can, I can do that. Blown yourself away. It's amazing. Um, for sure. For sure. And so, um, so I said, yeah, you were a little bit nervous, kind of a little bit of reaching out, um, with all of that. Let's see what else do we want to talk about here? Uh, really just kind of deciding to 
uh, make that commitment. Like once, once you chatted, once we started talking in our messaging and then we got on the phone and all of that, what was kind of that, um, the big things, if you can remember that, that really did kind of encourage you and make you want to just say, all right, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Well, I really liked your approach. You know, you were, um, very organized. I mean, you were a teacher before you did this, right. And that, that comes out I resonate with that. So um, that came out loud and clear, like who doesn't want a coach that can teach you at the same time so you can sustain it. Uh, And I think everything I'd already heard, you know, when I looked at your Instagram feed and then when we spoke for the first time, it was clear that you were about sustainability. This is, this is a one-time thing, you know, it's not, it's not like a quick fix. Um, It's something that you're going to learn. It's going to be a lifestyle. And that's, that's what I didn't, I didn't even know that was possible. I thought that was kind of something that was out of reach for like, I don't know, like Hollywood types, you know, I didn't think it was, it was something in reach for someone like me. So it was really intriguing and you, you were great. You were so professional. You had a, like a little bit of, a little bit of pressure to put the burn on me. And then it was really, the ball was back in my court. Like, am I going to commit? And, um, I really wanted it, you know, like I, I want, I want this for like today and like 10 years from now. So I haven't looked back. That's right. You did. I, I, you were just, yeah, you're so, you were just like, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm so glad that you talked about like the education portion of it. Um, and I guess you're right. Like being a teacher, a former teacher, like that's just kind of the, the way my brain um, works. I want to be able to, I want to know the why. If I know the why, and I know that this is something that isn't just kind of on the whim. Um, if other people have done this, if it's a system in a way that is still individualized, but if it works for other people, it can work for me too. If I follow the plan, you know, um, that, that always helps me. And that always helped me. And, and I just remembered, look, if I just do what I need to do and kind of take that emotion out of it as best I can. And I just follow the steps. Yeah. Um, like, like we always say, like, uh, just do the work. The hard work will never lie. If we're just doing the right work, then it, it will come out on the other side. Um, but I really to tr- also truly believe in teaching you guys, you know, kind of what's going on behind that, because then you're much more likely to, to stick to it, to, to not under eat, um, or go and slash every, you know, all the calories, because if you, if you can understand why we don't need to do that, then you're like, okay, like I'm getting it. I'm understanding. And like last week's call, um, that Kristen did was really talking about, okay, before we come in and like, want to just move everything around and make all these drastic changes, what, Let's take a, a magnifying glass and look deeper. Like you were talking about, um, you know, sleep and and we want to teach you those things and how it all does connect. And if we can teach you that, then those are things you can still assess, like definitely when you're finished working with us long after that. And you can continue moving on with this because that's what I want this to be is something that that you feel like, hey, I like I, I have soaked this up. I have learned, I have seen what I need to see. Like it's, it's been wonderful. I'm good now. Like, thank you. And, and now I can go do this on my own. I want my clients and and you to feel honestly empowered, honestly, at a place to where you're like, heck, I don't have to be confused anymore. Like I know what I'm doing, that kind of a deal. And that, and that's true. You know, that's like the best thing out of the program is the empowerment for me. I mean, I, ca- I had a tendency to complicate everything prior, um, overcomplicate, you know, I'd hear about macros and I didn't have a full understanding and it, it, it just, it, it got too complicated. And I loved when I spoke to you, you know, you said, yeah, you want to do a body re- recomposition. And yeah. I, I had, I had never heard that before. So we got off the phone. I look it up. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly it. And you talked about the three phases. And I, I like that because like, you know, incrementally bite-sized pieces, I thought, yeah, I could do three phases. You know, that, that sounds reasonable. So um, it's kind of one day at a time and it, it's, it's been, it's been great. You know, the coat, the coaching, the zoom calls that are all educational and then the, the support, you know, um, I think like talking with other like-minded women 
<laughs> we're all yeah. women. I love that too. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's just, it is really empowering. Good. I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. And I, have you noticed, I don't know. I mean, I noticed with me a change, not only like physically, you know, like with what you see in the mirror, but man, I started, I'm like, Oh, I set a goal and I can do it. And now that's showing through in another area of my life in another area. Um, you're a strong person though. You're, you're, you're like, you're very strong. Um, have you noticed that it has helped you in other ways? Or do you feel like this was kind of the place that was lacking and you were good in all those other places? It can go both ways. No, I, for me, it's really um, spilled over. My cup runneth okay. over. So okay. um, for me, my energy was was really rocky. And I, I couldn't put my finger on what was wrong with my energy. You know, I just figured, oh, I'm getting older. But the reality was I was not eating enough. Uh, my exercise was off cause I wouldn't do any recovery. Um, mm -hmm. but with this, with this, the BCH approach, I feel like it's so holistic. My energy has like skyrocketed. Um, so I have more capacity overall. My capacity is, is greater now. So yeah, I have a little more focus, um, more intention behind what I'm doing and, you know, right now I had talked about forever wanting to do something with my church. We have all different types of committees. So volunteering is my point. Um, so I, I have a meeting later this month to look at, look at actually dedicating time weekly uh, to get started with that. And um, same thing with work. I mean, I am in a leadership capacity, but I feel more of, um, I don't know, a calling to really really be a little bit more of a leader and assist, assist the leadership, the board. I'm, I'm nonprofit, um, but really be there for our board in more of a leadership capacity. And um, same with home, you know, from, from my children, whether it's the discipline side and being more consistent or just that quality one-on-one -on -one time. So for me, it has spilled over for sure. Cause it, I just, you know, I don't want to waste a minute you know, our time is, is definitely limited and, um, we got to make the best of it and really be present and be in the moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Girl. That's amazing. I'm, it's just, it's exciting. I love hearing it. That right there it, for me, is like, yes, that's it. That that's what it's about is to just feel like you're seeing it in other ways too. It's a lot more than just what's on the scale. Um, but let's talk about what's on the scale. So let's talk about actually like the physical results. That was a good segue. <laughs> so, all right. What have we seen? What, what's the, what's the differences here? I have here, we have lost, let's see, 10% body fat. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. That's a big deal. Dang. It is. I didn't know it was possible. I didn't, I do, do, do people say this all the time? I had no idea. I mean, I'm, I'm what I was in high school and uh, I, ne I didn't like, I got to a point. I still remember my brother-in-law saying to my husband when he found out I had, you know, twins in my belly saying like, well, you could say goodbye to that. Those abs, you know, mm. just a swagger. And he walked away and I, I just, I was a little heartbroken and I thought, yeah. Oh, you know, after a while you kind of believe it. And, um, it's not it's not true it's not true ladies you can get it back yeah girl that's that the truth and that goes back to like that empowerment like feeling like wait a second no don't even don't you say that to me don't you tell me what I can't do like watch me and look at what you've done I know, I know I'm Heck blushing yeah. now yeah oh it's awesome yes. I mean it was, man it, mm, nothing it's just it's just amazing I just love yeah. it uh you you you've lost two and a half pounds or I'm sorry, two and a half um, inches. I want to say in your hips, you've lost inches in your waist, like really just all over. I mean, you that's what Chris and I were saying the other day in our meetings is just, man, it's just consistent and consistent. You're you're in the sculpt phase. We're we're eating an upwards of what is it? Nineteen hundred calories uh, like nineteen fifty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> It's, uh, it's awesome. Um, but that's like one of the big changes is my mindset, you know, cause you, mm. you go from this mindset, especially as a woman, I mean, I can't speak for all women, but for me as a woman, I, I had this mindset of like, Oh no, I can't eat that. You know, can't do the carbs, 
when I, when I would go out, I'd try to be mindful and then it, you know, couldn't sustain. And I'd go home and like, whatever, dig into the chips or the Oreo cookies. And, um, so, um, where am I going with this? Just that, that the holistic approach and, and then having that all wrapped together. And yeah, I, I just, it's, it's amazing. So now that I'm in the build phase and eating, you know, there's like this, that's so empowering because, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm my co you know, Kristen's my coach. She was gradually incrementally increasing. And, um, when you're in the build phase, really working your muscles and getting your muscles stronger and, and building, you need that to keep you healthy. And so my recovery is better. Yeah. I mean, when I was on my own doing this, I, my muscles would be so sore and that would be a detriment and it would not be good, you know, but now mm-hmm. I have built in recovery days and I feel like, you know, my food is fuel. I just look at it totally differently. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I enjoy it and I do build in my treats, um, yeah. my des- mini desserts and I treat myself on the weekends, but I'm, I'm pretty solid on my macros. You know, I do meet my macros probably like six, six days a week. Sometimes mm-hmm. all seven, it, de- it depends, you know, if there's a family function or my husband surprises me, then I will celebrate and enjoy it, you know? Yes, absolutely. And it's amazing. And it's amazing the way that you can see how your body has adapted and um, learned also kind of, you know, the process of things, because it's like now you're able to eat so much more food than when you came in with us. Um, and we, we took you through, you know, this, that sculpt phase, we, we dieted down and now we're, we're undieting really essentially, um, and, and training your body to be able to eat more food. But like you and I had talked about, whenever we started, you started that sculpt phase is it's a lot of mental work here, um, because we live so in such a long time of feeling like we have to be in a diet. Um, we should be in a diet and it goes back to feeling so empowered when you're like, I'm not in a diet phase right now. I don't need to be, it's okay for me to eat this food, um, and eat this much. And that's actually good for me. And here's why. Um, and, and just, you know, at some point, whenever you decide, you know, after this phase and, and staying here for a really good amount of time, you're able to go back and go into more of that diet phase again, if you want to, and you will know how to do those things. Um, and that's what we want to say is there's always a season for everything. There's a season for, a, you know, that diet and, and kind of leaning out, but then there's a season to get out of that and being able to teach you and show you those things. Um, and also be there for you when those like many mindset freakouts happen. Um, because I feel like they happen to everyone. You know, we always kind of think, oh, it happens to me. I just got out of that build phase like you. And I was talking to some older man at the gym that I kind of talk about with nutrition and stuff. And he's eating 2000 calories. And I said, well, I just got finished eating 2000 calories. You need to eat more. And he was like, you've been eating two, you know, 2000 calories. Oh my gosh. How in the heck? I'm like, yes, it's science. If you know how to do it, it, it works. So I just think that's awesome. I cannot wait to continue to see, you know, really where you're going to be, where you're at. You came in, you started 12 weeks with us, came back in. You said, okay, let's continue on. You took advantage of the birthday bash, right? That we did. Yep. So we had it on what, eight months after that? I want to say, I think Uh, I added... uh, Yeah, yes. Eight months. Yeah. The six and two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um... So, you know, at that time, you started with us, I want to say it was November of last year. And so at that point in time, you are going to just, man, you're going to be in such a phenomenal place. I mean, you already are. And and we're going to get you to that place like Chris and I were talking about. You know, we may even end up getting you at that surplus, um, which is fine, which is wonderful. Um, Building lean muscle again there. Again, you know, you always let us know you it's not us and always in the driver's seat kind of a thing. We, we really do work together as that team to be able to give you the support, make sure you're on it, make sure that we're helping you learn. That's what I'm most concerned about is I want to know my clients are growing and they're really learning because that's, what's going to take you a long time from now, kind of a deal. So, okay, wrap it up. Let's see. What would you tell somebody if, 
they're on the fence about this. They've kind of been looking, they've kind of been lurking. They're watching your, your story. What would be kind of that thing that you would say to them to inspire them um, to reach out? Hmm. I think, you know, um, if they really want it, it's possible, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I have hit goals that were beyond my wildest dreams and now yeah. haven't quite yeah. set them yet, but I have some wheels turning as to like what's next, you know, um, cause I just love it. I love it. I love science. You brought up the science. There's a science behind it. And, you know, I have never been so excited to like, do my measurements and like get on the scale it's not all about the scale but when I was in the lose it, the with the loss mode you know it was um it's pretty phenomenal the results so beyond my wildest dreams and I'm not just saying that because you know this is not a paid testimonial <laughs> so um it is not so uh yeah I just think you know if you're on the fence you know, but you're right. You're thinking that you really want to make a commitment and you know, you struggle with juggling other aspects of your life and the fitness is, is kind of what you want, but it's hard to prioritize. I, I think you guys are great at making it a priority because you do so much of the legwork. And so we're, I felt like I was like on a train, you know, kind of like riding, you guys were pulling me. I was just suiting up, showing up, doing the work. And then it's like, baby steps you get to a point where you you are so empowered you're, you're doing it on your own really it's like the training wheels are coming off <laughs> they're blowing yeah. off yeah that's awesome i love it absolutely taking that out of there so you've lost a total of is it so far 20 yeah that sounds about right since i started with you in the program yeah in november wow. and um i didn't I did not think that could happen. I thought that was going to be, I don't know, five, 10 pounds. And yeah. then it went to 15 and then it went to 20. And I thought, and, and, you know, one of the hardest parts, because of my body frame, um, I talked to coworkers and, you know, it's been COVID. So some people haven't seen me and we talk or we zoom. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, how could you lose that weight? You can't lose that weight. Oh yeah, I can. I can. I really could. Cause I know what my, my more natural body weight was. I mean, before I was fully self-conscious or stuck at a desk job, right? With very limited movement. Um, yeah. So I don't think there's any going back for me now. I don't think I'm ever gonna have a desk, desk job where, uh, where I don't move. Yeah, mm. I, I, I love getting my movement in, you know, just the steps and the walk, walking. Yeah, it really helps, doesn't it? It makes such a difference. Uh, so many people do have desk jobs, you know, and and it's tough. It's hard to be able to uh, to figure out how to fit it all in, but but you can do it. It's totally possible. You're such an example of that. Um, so so awesome. Well, Cindy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here, doing all of this. Um, Guys, if you're watching, feel free to reach out. Feel free to reach out to Cindy, um, anybody, and uh, just know that you can do anything you set your mind to. Um, you are not stuck wherever you are at. You absolutely can change the game for yourself. You can change your life any second you decide to, but really it comes down to deciding to do it. I always say like the hardest part is just the commitment at the beginning and deciding to do it, but then after that, like you just said, like it's babies or it, it's training wheels, it's baby steps. Um, and then we kind of got you from there um, and, and, and help support you to make it to where this can be something that you can do without us um, and kind of move on from there. So, all right. Well, thank you so, so much. Um, love, love this. And I'm just, I'm so appreciative. I'm so inspired by you for sure. I know all of us are all of the girls in the Academy. Um, you're one of the veterans and they look up to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. I'm telling you, it's not, it's not, it was never possible for me unless I had coaches like you and Kristen. So yeah. thank you. You're so welcome. You are so welcome.